Change the world. My final message. At long last, for the first time in years, Yevlaboken has been destroyed. Wait, you mean to tell me you've never heard of Yevlaboken? Alright, well, I guess I'll just have to fill you in then. Today, I'm gonna take you on a journey through time and history and through my favorite Wikipedia article of all time. So what on earth is Yevlaboken? Well, Yevlaboken, or the Yevla goat is a giant straw yule goat that's put up in Castle Square in Yevla, Sweden, uh, every year at the beginning of Advent. They first started putting it up in 1966, and most years since then it has been destroyed, typically by arson. So in 1966, the design for the first Yevla goat was designed by the then chief of the Yevla Fire Department, uh, ironically enough. It was 43 feet tall, and it burned down on New Year's Eve. So that first year, it was financed by a man named Harry Strom, but every subsequent year it's been funded by a group of businessmen called the Southern Merchants or so does Shopman if you want to show off the fact that you took Duolingo for a couple of years but it's like not a big deal or anything. And that's about all the background information you need to know before we get into the real, you know, the, the, the good part of the article, my favorite part to go through, which is the timeline. Well, we already talked about what happened in 1966. So the next year, 1967, it survived. 1968, it also survived, but they added a fence, you know, just in case. And the year after that, 1969, nice, the inside of the goat was protected with a chicken wire netting. Now, it seems like this didn't do anything at all because the goat was still burnt down on December 31st. So the goat had a pretty rough 1970s. Um, I'm going to just real quick run through all the methods of destruction in order for this, and then we're going to go into some of the more interesting notes about it. So we have fire, smashed to pieces, collapsed, stolen, fire, collapsed, hit by a car, fire, kicked to pieces, fire, and broken. So yeah, let's let's take a step back and unpack that a little bit. So in 1970, the fire was blamed on two drunk teenagers. With the help of several financial contributors, the goat was reassembled out of Lake Reed. In 1971, the goat was smashed to pieces, and the southern merchants actually got tired of their goats being burnt down, so they just stopped making them. But the Natural Science Club from the School of Vasa ended up taking over and made their own, uh, you know, it was smaller, but they made their own goat kind of to, to take take over. In 1973, the goat was stolen by a man who then placed it in his backyard. He was sentenced to two years in prison for aggravated theft. In 1975, um, you know, Team Arson didn't really get to it. It just kind of collapsed under its own weight. And in 1976, a student rammed the hind legs of the goat with a Volvo Amazon which collapsed it, obviously. 1978, it says kicked to pieces, but there's no notes here. I would... I would be interested in learning more about that. In 1979, the goat was burnt down before they finished building it. So they made another goat, and they fireproofed that one. Uh, but then that one just got broken into pieces. It didn't matter that it got fireproofed. Now we're on to the 1980s. So in 1980, it was burned down on December 24th. It actually survived 1981, so that was the first time it survived in, let's see, like 12 years? Uh, in 1982, it was, you know, burnt down December 13th, 1983. The legs were destroyed, and that is all we get. That's all it says, just that the legs were destroyed. In literally 1984, it was burnt down on December 12th. In 1985, the goat was enclosed by a two-meter-high metal fence and guarded by Securitas and soldiers from the Yevla I-14 Infantry Regiment. And it still got burnt down in January. But a notable thing about 1985 was that the Natural Science Club's goat was 41 feet tall and actually got featured in the Guinness Book of World Records for the first time for, I guess, being the largest goat. Which brings us to 1986. Remember the Southern Merchants, how they quit making the goat because they were just so upset that it kept getting burnt down? Well, they decided to give it another try uh, 15 years later and it was burnt down on December 23rd. But ever since then, they've made two goats every year. The Southern Merchants have made one, and the Natural Science Club have also made their own goat. So from this point on, there are two goats we need to keep track of. All right, keep that in mind. You got that? You, you got it? Okay, good. In 1987, uh, we have that it was heavily fireproofed, and then it was destroyed by fire. In 1988, the goat survived, but 
Gamblers were for the first time able to gamble on the fate of the goat. In 1989, the goat was burnt down, you know, once again before they finished making it. Public funds were raised to rebuild the goat, uh, and then that one was burnt down in January. But in March 1990, they made another goat uh, specifically to be featured in the Swedish movie Blackjack. Oh, Which means that now we are back in the 90s. In 1999, the goat was guarded by many volunteers and actually ended up surviving. In 1991, the goat was burnt down on December 24th, uh, and it was actually joined by an advertising sled that turned out to be illegally built. What does that mean? Yeah, so I'm not quite sure how a sled can be illegally built. But anyway, they later rebuilt the goat uh, to take it to Stockholm, as part of a protest against the closing of the I-14 Infantry Regiment. Remember them? They were guarding the goat in 1985. In 1992, uh, both the Natural Science Club and Southern Merchants goats burnt down on the same night, eight days after they were built. The Southern Merchants actually rebuilt their goat, and then that one was burnt on the 20th of December. The perpetrator of the three attacks was caught and then sent to jail. And now this next sentence is one of my favorite sentences in this entire article. Get ready. The GOAT Committee was founded in 1992. In 1993, uh, the GOAT survived, and it was actually guarded by... The, Wikipedia says it was guarded by taxis, and it says clarification needed. I don't know if they just had a bunch of, like, taxi cabs, like, parked around the GOAT so it was harder to get in. And the actual Science Club's GOAT actually made it into the Guinness Book of World Records again, because this time their GOAT was even bigger than before, measuring 49 feet tall, or 14.9 meters. In 1994, the goat survived, and it followed the Swedish national hockey team to Italy for the world championship in hockey. So that's fun. In 1995, a Norwegian was actually arrested for attempting to burn down the goat. Uh, and I don't know if he actually succeeded or not, but it does say that the goat burnt down December 25th, Christmas Day. And then they rebuilt it for the 550th anniversary of... Y Yevlebori. Yevlebori County. In 1996, they put up some webcams to monitor it, and it actually survived. In 1997, uh, it survived with damage. It was damaged by fireworks. In 1998, um, it was burnt down during a major blizzard. So, I, you know, I would have thought the snow would, like, put out the fire, but I, I guess not. 1999, the goat was burnt down within hours, it says, and then it was rebuilt again before Lucia. I don't know what Lucia is, but hovering over it on Wikipedia, like, this just looks like a screen cap from Midsummer. so I don't know how to feel about that. And then the Natural Science Club's goat was also burnt down, of course. Which brings us into the 21st century, the new millennium, and uh, buckle up because it, it, it gets pretty crazy from here. In 2000, the Southern Merchants Goat was burnt down and the Natural Science Club's goat was thrown in the Yevla River. December 23rd, 2001, a visitor from Cleveland, Ohio was arrested for burning the goat. And then the Natural Science Club's goat was also burnt down. So both both of them burnt down. In 2002, on Lucia, the goat was guarded by Swedish radio and TV personality Gert Vilking, and it survived with damage. A 22-year-old from Stockholm tried to set the Southern Merchant's goat on fire, but he failed, and the goat only received minor damage. In 2003, the year of my birth, fun fact, uh, the goat was burnt down on December 11th. So then a week later, they put up another goat, and that one, it says survived without any known incidents, which seems like really specific wording. Is this implying that there's probably some incidents we don't know about? I don't know. <laughs> On December 3rd, 2005, the goat was burnt down by unknown vandals, reportedly dressed as Santa and the gingerbread man, by shooting a flaming arrow at the goat. The goat was reconstructed on December 5th, and the hunt for the arsonist responsible was featured on the Swedish weekly live TV broadcast Most Wanted. In 2006, the Southern Merchant's goat survived New Year's Eve and was taken down on January 2nd. It is now stored in a secret location. That's right, This the 2006 goat is somewhere on the planet, and only a few people, I don't know who, but only a few people know where that is. In 2007, December 13th, the Natural Science Club's goat was toppled, and then December 24th, it was burned. The Southern Merchants Goat survived fine, though. On December 8th, 10,000 people turned out for the inauguration of one of the goats. No backup goat was prepared, should the worst happen to the main goat, 
Uh, and nor was the goat treated with flame repellent because Anna Ostman, fun fact, Ostman means cheese man, uh, who is a spokesperson of the goat committee, said that the repellent made it look ugly in previous years, like a brown terrier. Her words, not mine. On December 16th, the Natural Science Club's goat was vandalized, and then, you know, they removed it. On December 26th, there was an attempt to burn down the Southern Merchant's goat, uh, but passers-by managed to extinguish the fire. The following day, the goat finally succumbed to the flames, ignited by an unknown assailant at 3.50 in the morning. In 2009, December 7th, someone attempted to set the Southern Merchant's Goat on fire. On December 11th, there was an unsuccessful attempt to throw the Natural Science Club's goat into the river. Again. The culprit then tried again, without success, to set the goat on fire. On the night of the 14th of December, someone stole the Natural Science Club's goat using a truck. And on the night of December 23rd, before four in the morning, the southern merchant's goat was set on fire and was burned to the frame, even though it had a thick layer of snow on its back. The goat had two online webcams, uh, you know, watching it for security, so how could the culprits get away with this? Well, the webcams were put out of service by a DOS attack uh, right before they burnt it down. And now we're in the 2010s. It gets pretty good in the 2010s. So in 2010, the goat survived. But there's a very interesting story about the attempt that was made. On December 17th, a Swedish news site reported that one of the guards tasked with protecting the Southern Merchant's goat had been offered payment to leave his post so that the goat could be stolen via helicopter and transported to Stockholm. Both the goats survived and were dismantled in early January 2011. In 2011, a pretty smart protective measure was put in place. The goat was sprayed with water. Uh, to create a protective coating of ice around it. Unfortunately, there was some mild weather, the ice melted, and the goat was burnt down on December 2nd. In 2012, it burnt down. In 2013, it was soaked in flame retardant and then was also burnt down. In 2014, it actually survived, but at least three arson attempts were made. But the Natural Science Club goat didn't survive, it collapsed. 2015 is easily one of my favorite ones in the timeline here. December 27th, uh, it was the goat was burnt down, and let, let's just let, let's just read the note here. A 26-year-old man fleeing the scene with a singed face, smelling of gasoline, and holding a lighter in his hand was arrested. Under questioning, he admitted to committing the offense, adding that he was drunk at the time and that in retrospect it was a quote extremely bad idea. He was sentenced in January 2018 to probation by an appellate court with a 6,000 Swedish kroner fine and 80,000 Swedish kroner in damages. So for us Yanks, that's about $9,500 in fines. In 2016, I think this was the only year that it was destroyed in November. November 27th, the goat was destroyed by an arsonist equipped with petrol on its inauguration day, just hours after its 50th birthday party. No! Organizers said that they wouldn't rebuild the goat this year, and the 21-year-old was sentenced to probation uh, and was sentenced to a fine of about 100,000 Swedish kroner, which is about 11,000 US dollars. The evidence for the case mainly revolved around a hat that the perpetrator dropped during his escape. But this year, the Southern Merchant's Goat was replaced by a smaller Natural Science Club goat that was built by local high school students. How sweet is that? It got hit by a car. All right, 2017, they really started, uh, you know, upping the security for this thing. Double fence, cameras, guards, and the goat survived. 2018, fencing, cameras, guards, taxi rank. There was an attempt to burn the goat on December 15th. Uh, only minor damage from that. And these incidents were actually reported by the Yevlebakken Twitter account, which I didn't know existed until just now. I think the I think their bio is kind of funny though. Translated into English, it's I'm the straw goat of the world. I fancy Christmas and I don't play with matches. 2019, double fence, 24 hour CCTV, two guards patrolling around the goat frequently, 24 hours a day, and a canine unit. On December 23rd, fire crews responded to a call that there was a little goat burning at the scene. Uh, they arrived and it was just like a small like a regular Yule goat that someone brought over and then burned next to the actual Yevla goats. December 27th, the goat was burned, but it didn't end up getting destroyed, and a suspect was taken into custody. And now 2019, this is the first time in the goat's history since 1966 
that it's survived more than two years in a row. 2020, last year, we got guards, double fence, 24-hour CCTV, public webcam feed, and it did actually survive this year as well, meaning it actually went four years without being destroyed, which is the record as of now. Uh, because of COVID-19, the inauguration was digital and people were advised not to gather around the goat. But that brings us to today. December 2021. In the early hours of December 12th, the Natural Science Club's goat was finally burnt down. And during that same weekend, a drunk person was caught trying to jump the fences around the other goat. But on December 17th, that larger goat did end up getting burnt down, uh, and a 40-year-old man was arrested. And uh, yeah, that is the entire timeline and history of the Yevleboken, or the Yevla goat, um, the giant straw Yule goat, that seems to get burnt down a lot. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. Thank you all for watching. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. I use those more than YouTube, to be honest. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.